Good morning, everybody, and uh, happy Christmas. Yeah, it's fantastic. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. We remember Jesus and the story of his birth. Jesus is our King. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Jesus is our way. With Jesus, even dark places are light. Jesus is truth. In Jesus, we shall live forever. Jesus is our life. Hear the words of the angel to Joseph. You shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Therefore, let us seek the forgiveness of God through Jesus, the Saviour of the world. God, our Father, you sent your Son, full of grace and truth. Forgive our failure to receive him. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, our Saviour, you were born in poverty and laid in a manger. Forgive our greed and rejection of your ways. Christ, have mercy. Spirit of love, your servant Mary responded joyfully to your call. Forgive the hardness of our hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the God of all healing and Draw you to himself, that you may behold the glory of his Son, the Word made flesh, and be cleansed from all your sins, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Collect for today. Lord Jesus Christ, your birth at Bethlehem draws us to kneel in wonder at heaven touching earth. Accept our heartfelt praise as we worship you, our Saviour and our eternal God. Amen. Please stand for the Gospel. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John, beginning to read at verse 1. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, 
who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. One of the uh, chores of Christmas, and there are a few, is sending Christmas cards. Of course, there is always the worry that we will have forgotten to give someone a card. That can be quite embarrassing, as we really don't want to miss anybody out, or want to make them feel not wanted. But why do we send cards? I suppose one reason we send cards is that we feel we have to. We don't want people to think that we are being Scrooge-like, not at Christmas anyway. Marion and I have worked in different parts of the country. Uh, I think we've lived in about 10 different houses. And so for us, Christmas cards have a very special meaning. They take on a different role. We don't just send them a card with a signature. Instead, we actually send them some brief news about what we're up to. We then look forward to receiving news from our friends from around the country. And they send us Christmas cards and tell us all that's been going on. Sometimes it's good news, sometimes it's sad, and we've had both this year. But we are uh, particularly pleased to receive news each year of a family we used to live <coughs> next door to down in the south of England. At the time, they weren't Christians, but they both now take an active role in the life of their local church. And we love to hear how things are getting on at the church where we used to belong. Sometimes, when we send cards, we don't get a response, and so we may cross them off the list for next year. It is sad, but that's what happens. People move on, you lose contact. There is a parallel here, though, with what God did at Christmas. God didn't actually send out Christmas cards, obviously. They hadn't been invented then. Instead, he sent his son, but with a very similar purpose in mind. His purpose was the same as when we send out Christmas cards. He wanted to make contact with people and send them a, a news update. So, through Jesus, he sent out into the world news about himself and what he was getting up to. And what news did Jesus bring? He brought the news that we have read about in John's Gospel this morning. First, in our reading, we were reminded that God is our creator. And then in verse 3, it says, All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. We also learn that Jesus was and is the light of the world. He came to bring the light and life of God to his people. So the message was that the creator God had become like one of us. 
in order to bring the light of God into our world, to bring light into the darkness caused by the often damaging behaviour of his people, his creation. But then God, having sent the message out, the waiting game began. We send out cards and wait to see if people we mailed will respond. And that is what God did and does. He waits for our response to his Christmas message. In fact, he is still waiting for a response, a response, a response from each and every one of us. Some people have responded like our former neighbours down south. They have renewed their contact with God through Jesus, and that makes God happy. And through their prayers, they are sending him news about themselves and the lives that they are living it is a two-way communication. Others, sadly, have crossed God off their list and made the decision not to make contact with him. And this is a great sadness to God. But let's focus this morning on our own response to God. I imagine that the reason we are here on this Christmas morning or watching this online is that we love Jesus and want to celebrate his birth. We have already responded to God's gift to us by giving ourselves to him. So the question is, what new thing can we give to God this Christmas? Getting presents is difficult at the best of times, but what can we give God this Christmas? I mean, what on earth do you get for someone who already has everything? Literally. I mean, he is God. Well, some people think that entering into a relationship with God, like our former neighbours did, is a one-off experience. But in fact, it isn't. It is a lifelong process. Just like any relationship we have with each other. And it has to be worked at and developed. You see, whilst we may have decided to follow Jesus, we are still very human. And so we are constantly needing to give up parts of ourselves to God to deepen our relationship. So this Christmas, what gift are we going to offer God? It may be to spend more time praying or reading the Bible. It may mean taking a look at what we are already doing in the life of the church. Are we doing the right things? Or is there something else that we should be doing and offering as a gift? What is our contribution to the wider community? Are there things we can be doing that will benefit others. As we come to worship together, let's thank God for not missing us off his Christmas list. Let's thank him for remembering us and sending his son. Let's thank God that we have heard his message and made our response. And let's offer ourselves afresh this Christmas time, as a gift to God. Yes, let our lives be the gift that we offer. So dig deep into your life as you offer yourself to him, because that is the best Christmas present he can receive from any of us. After all, when Jesus came to Bethlehem, the angels sang, they were allowed to, and the Bible also says that when we come to Jesus, that is reciprocated as there is rejoicing in heaven. So let heaven rejoice as we offer our lives in service to our Lord and Saviour this Christmas time. 
Amen. Let us stand. As we stand, let us declare our faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God, the Son who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God, the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us sit or kneel to pray. As we think of the angel, the messenger of God, Lord, we pray for those who bring the good news of Jesus to others. We pray especially for our church here in Osset and for the endeavours that are being made to find the person who will be appointed to take the work forward. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we think of Mary, we remember that she would lose her son. So we pray for all who have lost loved ones and miss them at this time of the year. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We think of Joseph trying to provide for his family and keeping them safe. Lord, we pray for all those who have been affected by the pandemic. We also pray for refugees and those affected by war, famine, terrorism and natural disaster. And we pray too for all those lorry drivers and van drivers who are caught up in the delays and missing their time with their family at Christmas. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we remember the baby Jesus, Lord, we pray for all children here and around the world. We pray especially for those in any kind of need. We remember all those children who are having to spend Christmas in hospital. And we pray too for all the children that we work with. We pray for the future development and growth of the work here amongst our young people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We recall the animals. We think of all who work with animals, that they may treat them with care. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we think of the shepherds working in hard conditions and working on the first Christmas day, Lord, we pray for all who work on Christmas Day, especially service personnel, emergency services, essential services, staff in community homes, hospitals, carers in the community, and all those forces personnel who this morning have been drafted in to go and help the drivers in Dover. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we think of the innkeeper, Lord, we pray for those whose 
work and businesses are insecure. We pray for those who've lost their businesses, their jobs. We pray for all those working in the hospitality sector during this pandemic. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we think of the wise men, Lord, we pray for governments and for scientists. We give thanks for all those who have worked on the vaccines and for those whose job it is to get them out to the people. We pray too for a smooth transition of power in America, praying for healing and for unity. And we pray for the working out of the new Brexit deal. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please stand. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and his name shall be called the Prince of Peace. The peace of the Lord be with you. And also with you. Please be seated. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And now we give you thanks because by the power of the Holy Spirit, he took our nature upon him and was born of the Virgin Mary, his mother, that being himself without sin, he might make us clean from sin. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to you, our Heavenly Father, who in your tender mercy gave your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice 
oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world he instituted and in his holy gospel commanded us to continue a perpetual memory of his precious death until he comes again. Hear us, merciful Father, we humbly pray and grant that by you, the power of your Holy Spirit we receive these gifts of your creation, this bread and this wine according to your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ's holy institution in remembrance of his death and passion may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take eat this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me in the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks he gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me great is the mystery of faith christ has died christ is risen Christ will come again. Therefore, Lord and Heavenly Father, in remembrance of the precious death and passion, the mighty resurrection and glorious ascension of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, we offer you through him this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Grant that by the merits of and death and through faith in his blood, we and all your church may receive forgiveness of our sins and all benefits of his passion. Although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer you any sacrifice, yet we pray that you will accept this, the duty and service that we owe. Do not weigh our merits, but pardon our offenses and fill us all who share in this holy communion with your grace and heavenly blessing, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father.
Together we pray, God of truth, we have seen with our eyes and touched with our hands the bread of life. Strengthen our faith that we may grow in love for you and for each other. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with peace and goodwill and make you partakers of the divine nature and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and all you, those you love at this Christmas time and forevermore. Amen. Go in peace, proclaim the word made flesh. Glory, thanks and praise to God. And Trinity Church Osset wishes you all a very happy and blessed Christmas and New Year.